Hey traders, it's Jason Greystone here, head trading coach at Trade Empowered UK. I've had a lot of questions recently regarding backtesting. Many of you know that backtesting played a fundamental part in my trading and allowed me to become successful after years of struggling. Now I know over the holidays that many of my London Live trading room clients are using their free time wisely by backtesting their strategies and getting some continued education. So I thought I'd put out this week's video based around the subject of backtesting. One of the questions I had was, when backtesting patterns, do I consider the underlying direction of a trend in the market? Now, there's many traders that use advanced patterns to enter trend continuation trades, uh, particularly Gartley patterns. You'll hear traders talk about things like moves like this. So they'll be looking at the market and they'll get an outside return. And within this, within this move here, they'll see something like this, which is a bat would be a bat or a Gartley, and then they'd be looking to enter that to look for a trend continuation move. So when you're doing your back testing, there's a bit of an issue because the first thing you're going to do is pull up a chart on your trading time frame and you're going to scrunch it up. You're going to scrunch it up like that. And then you're going to scroll back as far as you can. All the way back as far as you can. And you'll be identifying your patterns. So uh, let's just see if we can see one here. Looks like there's one there. And, and again, this is this is just an example, but so you'll be identifying your patterns. So there's one here, for example. Um, and then what will happen is you'll be filling out your backtesting spreadsheet and you'll be saying, is it in the trend? Now, to do that, you'll have to go out to the daily time frame or the higher time frame. And if you go to the daily, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to go back to the current price uh, at, the, at the current day. So that means you have to keep scrolling back, scrolling back. This one we've just drawn in because it's, uh, you know, we didn't go back that far. But you don't want to be going back three years drawing in a bat pattern, then having to scroll all the way back to find that pattern just to see if it was in the underlying trend. So one of the things I developed when I was doing my back testing is, once I would see the pattern, I would draw it in. I wouldn't worry about, um, I wouldn't worry about the underlying trend or anything like that. I would simply draw the pattern in and again, this is just an example, just an example. And if it was a winning trade, I would color it in green. And if it was a, a losing trade, I would color it in red. Now, if it hit target one, but not target two, I would color it in half I would color half red and half green, or half green and half red. And then what you can do is when you go out to the daily, you can easily just scrunch your charts up, scroll back, and look, you can see all of the patterns and you can easily identify what was in a trend, what was not in a trend, in the move of the trend. See all the patterns here? And when you're filling out your your backtesting spreadsheet, when you're noting down all the trades, you can put in here trend. You can put trend. This is just example. Uh, not trend. And you can fill out all of this in one hit because you can go back, count the trades, fill out whether they're in the trend or whether they were not in the trend and then at the end when you're crunching the results you'll see that it, trend and not trend have been added to here so you can really 
crunch down and, and filter down to find out when the most profitable time is to trade those patterns or whether that makes a difference at all in the patterns themselves. So for those of you who are interested in knowing whether the pattern is in the underlying trend or not, then this is a real easy, quick way to just run through at the end of your back testing to see and count up whether they're in the trend or whether they're not in the trend. So that's it. Um, I hope you found that useful. We've had a few questions about uh, this particular subject. So um, if anyone is interested in learning how to trade patterns or the backtesting spreadsheet, um, then obviously this is all available at tradingpower.co.uk um, underneath the 12-week transformation course, and you'll, you'll get all this as part of the course. I hope you can use this in your own backtesting to note down um, which patterns were in trend and which patterns weren't. So until next time, take care and I'll talk to you then. Mm -hmm.